Now I'm going to show you how to find VIN stickers on each panel of the car. This is a fast and easy way to know if the vehicle was in an accident, as the VIN stickers won't be on every panel or they won't match each other. Both front fenders are going to have a VIN number here on the side and also there on the other side. They can either be here or it might be further up. When looking at the VIN numbers, look at the last two numbers. Those are the ones you're going to want to match all the way around the car. There's going to be an emissions label usually right here on the hood. Some will have a VIN number on the hood, but most definitely the emissions label will be there. On the driver's door, you'll find the VIN right here along the side. Then, the manufacturer label will be generally in this area. Sometimes you'll find the manufacturer label here on this area of the car or on this lower part of the door, which will then be the VIN number. On this door, again, shall be here. You can see this one's actually been painted over, so we can't look at the last couple numbers to see if they've matched. So this could be the original door, which is the paint job, or it could be a completely different door. Now, depending on the number of panels replaced and which ones they were, you can gauge the degree of the severity of the accident that it was in. If you find a VIN sticker on one panel, then they should be on every panel of the car. This is separate from the manufacturer's label. You will also find the VIN on the lower left side of the dash under the windshield. This is due to law enforcement being able to find the VIN number without having to enter the vehicle. Make sure this VIN matches what shows on the title. I have shown you one proven way to determine if a vehicle's been in an accident. There are six other simple tests for examining the car body to determine if that car has been wrecked. As you can imagine, this is just a start. So here's what we've created to help protect you.